Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for taking the time to stop by. It is greatly appreciated. If you're returning, um, welcome back. I hope that everybody has had a great new year. I hope that everybody is off to a great start. Um, today is Saturday, January the 13th. Um, I wanted to go ahead and get this story out. I'm not going to hold y'all too long. Um, this is pretty much an urgent plea um, coming from the Red Cross. So as you guys know, we have had multiple shortages of food um everything pretty much there's been a shortage at some point or just you know hard to find glow in stock but this is a different kind just because i mean it i mean it can affect all of us it can affect us at any time and we don't know when um so this is about blood so there is a blood shortage and the american red cross is pretty much pleading and urging people you know who are able to donate to donate so i'm just going to go over this with you guys like really really quick if y'all would stick with me i would greatly appreciate it um so I'm just going to go over this. So it says the American Red Cross is facing an emergency blood shortage as it experiences the lowest number of people giving blood in the last 20 years. Um, it says that blood and platelet donations are needed now to help alleviate the shortage and ensure life-saving medical procedures proceed without delay. Um, and so obviously there's a lot of medical situations that entail people getting like they need blood they need transfusions there's medical procedures there are surgeries that you know blood is needed so this i think is pretty important out of all the shortages that we are having this is a big deal there are cancer patients that need blood so you know without those it's doctors are having to pick and choose certain patients and situations to use blood just because of the shortage. I'm going to give blood. you guys an example. It says one of the most distressing situations for a doctor is to have a hospital full of patients in an empty refrigerator without any blood products. A person needs life-saving blood every two seconds in our country. Over the last 20 years, the number of people donating through the um, American Red Cross has fallen about 40%. They said when fewer people donate blood, even small disruptions to blood um, donations, such as the nearly 7,000 unit shortfall in blood donations, the Red Cross experienced between Christmas and New Year. And they do say certain things can, in situations, can affect people donating blood. But they do said that that can have a huge impact on the availability, availability of blood products and dramatic consequences for those in need of emergency blood transfusion. So, of course, weather can impact this. Um, seasonal respiratory illnesses like um, C-19, <laughs> um, the flu, and different viruses because when you do have that virus, of course, they do not want you to donate. Also, um, depending on the time of year, like of course, summer, a lot of people are traveling. Um, and then like weather situations, like during hurricane season, people aren't getting out and donating that blood. They also say that several factors have contributed to the decline in blood donations. So of course, if you think about the last three, I think we're moving into four years now. A lot of people used to donate when they were at work, you know, they would have blood drives come to the job sometimes and it would just make easy access for people to donate. But because a lot of people, I can't say most people, but there's so many people that used to work in the office that have now transitioned to the home, um, that affects, that's made an effect on it as well. So when it comes to donating, as long as you are 17 and up, um, you can donate blood from what I have researched. If you are 16, you can donate blood as well. You just have to have parental consent and um, you just choose what's best for you. I actually have donated blood in the past. I think the last time I donated, donated blood was in 2020. However, I have not donated since just because when I donated at that time, it did cause a drop in my iron and I became anemic. And I know for a fact that <laughs> that donation was what contributed towards me being anemic just because I'm never anemic outside of pregnancy. I spoke with my doctor about it and just the timing of it all um, coincided with me having my, um, without, with me donating blood. I'm not going to say that I'm not going to donate blood again at this time. I'm definitely not just because obviously um, it's just not a great time for me to donate right now. Um, I feel like my body is still trying to recover from having a baby. So I don't need any extra going out right now, unfortunately, but I will give myself probably until like the summertime. Once the summer gets here, I will have made the two year mark. And I think I'm going to go ahead and choose to donate blood just because again, you never know when your family, your friend or anybody that you know 
or just, you know, a stranger may need that blood from you. So I feel like every donation counts. So with that being said, I will go ahead and leave the link down below for the American Red Cross. So if you want to reach out to the chapter in your local area, you can do so. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care and stay safe.